What is individuation? Welcome to my three-part series on individuation. We're going to be talking about, in this video, individuation of the narcissist from his mother in the original uh, point in life when he wasn't a narcissist before the trauma. The second part is going to be the individuation of the narcissist from you, the abused person or the person who was victimized or at the receiving end in the codependent relationship. Um, and the third individuation will be the individuation of you from the narcissist when you, of course, are discarded or discard him and the breakup occurs and you will need to become a new you. Okay, so that's in part three. Part one, however, is this one and we're going to discuss the individuation of the narcissist or the child from his mother in the original time of when the trauma occurred. So sadly, I'm sure you all are aware that narcissists are not born, they're made. They're created when the mind fragments at a very, very young formative age, usually under 10 years old, sometimes under five, more likely under five years old. The mind splits and it causes a, a psyche fragmentation where they have an intensely ruinous childhood due to a terrible episode that has occurred either absolutely horrific abuse, neglect, or complete and absolute spoiling and glorification of this child. So um, when the narcissist, of course, has gone through this trauma, they then go into themselves and create a fantasy bubble, like a glass igloo hall of mirrors inside. That's like fun town mirrors that you get at a circus, where every single thing that they view from their eye is distorted. It's a distorted lens through which they view the world. Now, they will see the world as though they are the only ones in it and that everyone else in the world is an NPC or a non-player character, if you're familiar with gaming. Everyone outside of themselves is an object to be used and does not have feelings or emotions. They are the only one that exists on Earth and therefore they are the only ones that matter. Now, this narcissist or the child from that young age, seeks to individuate from mother. The opposite of individuation is unity, togetherness. They were one, when the, mo when the mother was pregnant and the baby was in the womb, they were one entity. The first part of individuation was when the baby's born. And then the second part of individuation is when the mother brings the child up so that the child forms his or her's own identity, personality, and you know self sense of self in the world. Once this child produces and develops their own sense of self, they can then go out into the world and live a normal life. However, the narcissist does not have this. The person suffering with NPD does not have this. They were stunted in their growth, therefore they suffer this arrested development because they have not individuated from mother, because they have not grown out of her need for her maternal care. So what happens is they seek out mother in every woman that they meet, although they also have a hatred for mother because mother has betrayed them, mother has abandoned them, mother has neglected them, mother has abused them, or all number of things. So what they seek to do is they seek to find mother in every woman that they meet. They seek to idealize her and get her to love them. And then the revenge against mother, the historical mother, their biological mother, will be meted out through every woman that they meet through the discard. So they seek to idealize the woman and then slowly break her apart, usurp her soul, her sources, her supply, her resources, everything that makes her her, uh, her personality. They seek to become human through this and form their own identity by sucking out hers. What they then do is try to individuate from her or from mother by discarding her. So this is when they start to devalue you and then discard you. And even if you discard them, by the time they've started to devalue you, as Sam Backton has mentioned, they've already discarded you in their mind. So this is pertaining to the individuation which the narcissist seeks to do throughout their life through, through a cyclical fashion, through every relationship that they um, you know, get into. They seek to meet out and live out this historical trauma of meeting mother, of loving mother, being idealized as this amazing woman who's their mother, and then breaking her down and then tearing away from her so that he can go off and become his own man. Okay, so this is how he wishes to uh, separate from his original mother and causes trauma throughout his life through every other woman because they are not his mother, yet he seeks to create mother from them, which can never occur. He is bound by a historical mother grip 
which he seeks to break free from. And the only way he can individuate and become his own man is by continuously discarding you and other women. Narcissists are anxious avoidant and anxious dismissive and their whole identity or lack thereof depends on rejecting people. Because he has a historical mother wound, he despises women and he despises his mother and he despises every woman that he comes into contact with, no matter how severe the love bombing or believable. He actually despises you. And because he is an empty shell of a human being, he's like a black hole vortex with a whole lot of spinning, you know, interjects around it that form his unique fantasy world. What he actually does is he envies you because you have a full personality. You are a full human being. You have your own life, your own individuality, your own sense of self, your own identity, all things that he longs for desperately but can never achieve because of the stuntedness and, uh, you know, growth retardation or uh, arrested development that he incurred as a child growing up. So he actually secretly hates women and secretly envies you. He envies you for your full bodied lust for life, the way that you are happy and can feel joy and all the emotions that he cannot feel. So in other words, yes, he's trying to individuate from you by discarding you, but he's also trying to cause you injury due to his extreme envy for you in that you can have all the things he cannot have. So he see, he's like a stone statue or a wooden Pinocchio boy seeking to bring himself to life by, bring, by sucking up the life out of you and soul out of you, draining it out of you and pouring it into him so that he can pass on his wooden stoneness to you and exchange that for sucking your soul and becoming human and bringing himself to life. It's horrific. It's tragic. It's a horror story. You think that it's a love story, but it actually is a horror story and it sounds like your worst nightmare because honestly it is. And I pray that everyone going through this gets as far away from their narcissist as possible to re-individuate themselves to the best, highest possible version of themselves than they ever were with a narcissist or even before. It's your time to rebirth. So rise like a phoenix from the ashes and stay far away from people who wish you harm and ill intent. Assalamu alaikum and goodbye.